Charles J. I'm not afraid to lose my life. If you want advice from me, don't get too caught up in these streets. Cause in that water it get deep and ain't no motherfucking sleep. Either you a wolf or you a sheep. A sheep. Why you take my homie life away? It don't make you a killer cause you got a pistol. I know some real ones that would never see the light of day. It ain't shit sweet, this ain't no motherfucking slice of cake. All this pain in my voice, I know you feel me. My best friend is on death row and that shit kills me. Y'all gon' remember my name. And we need some peace. Every time I see the police, yeah. Pain that I feel I know you're not here But this just don't seem real I remember walking down the hicks And going half on the blunt What you know about perfect dose I'll forever love you I just had to let you know I'll forever love you I just had and to And it was all for a purpose Mama told me go to the service and daddy wanted me to wear a jersey Instead I'm writing verses At least I ain't sneaking in women's purses For a purchase I remember that night he damn near murdered me I was 15 at the time Now I'm damn near 30 And the Lord was right on time He was damn near early I could've took his life But that man wasn't worth it And my waves so deep They damn near curly You ain't never heard me Turn me up This the moment Listen little homie If you don't like this Then you phony I ride the beat like I'm sitting on a donkey he say he won't fool for thought, throw his ass a biscuit, he hungry. This is my moment, and I'm just trying to take advantage. So much pain from a past, I wish that I could make it vanish. If I could make a wish, it'd be to talk face to face with Granny. And ask her for advice on what I need to do to save my I'm family. not afraid to lose my life. Why you take my homie life away? It don't make you a killer, cause you got a pistol. I know some real ones that would never see the light of day. It ain't shit sweet, this ain't no motherfucking slice of cake. All this pain in my boss, I know you feel me. My best friend is on death row and that shit kills me. Y'all gon' remember my name. And we need some peace. Every time I see the police, yeah. I feel like this might be the end of me, yeah. Lord, forgive my enemy. Pain that I feel I know you're not here But this just don't seem real I remember walking down the hicks And going half on the blunt What you know about perfect dose I'll forever love you I just had to let you know I'll forever love you I just had to let you know What it do, what it do, is 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Okay, now, I just did a, um, yeah, 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 I just did my thoughts on Devin Haney part one. This will be part two, uh, because I wanted to, uh, cover some more things. Yeah, I really want to get more into this Tank versus, uh, Devin Haney fight. Yeah, it's a very exciting fight. Uh, like I said before, uh, thank you to everybody that's rocking with your boy, man. This is a real live journey, man. Y'all witnessing this shit. I'm witnessing this shit. We can witness it together and we can celebrate later. Yeah, goddamn it. This shit real spicy, man. This shit real flavorful. Yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of sauce on these wings, man. 50 piece. All flats. Okay. Now, I said some shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, I think, I think I probably offended some of you motherfuckers. Yeah, cause I know how you motherfuckers think. Uh, but I don't give a fuck. Uh, and I'm even finna go even further to say, and, and it's gonna be very, a lot of people won't, won't agree with this. Uh, Devin Haney versus Tank is a, uh, 60 40 fight. Yeah, it's not 50, it's 60 40. Uh, and I got Devin Haney with the 60, Tank 40. Um, same way I look at Spence versus Crawford, and it's very weird that I say that. I'm, I'm finna give a slight comparison. 
Uh, I got Spence as the 60-40 favorite. Yeah, yeah, I got Spence. It's a 60-40 fight. It's a 50-50 fight, but in my eyes, it's 60-40. Just like Tank versus Haney, a lot of people say it's 50-50. I think it's 60-40 for Haney, and I think 60-40 for Earl. Let me tell you the similar, similar, uh, the similarities in this fight. Um, they very different fighters, but I got Devin Haney outboxing Tank. I got Spence outboxing Crawford. Um, and I'm going to do a more in-depth breakdown of Spence versus Crawford. Uh, but I'm just going to kind of sum it up for you. Crawford got a puncher's chance. Uh, Crawford, his, his way to win will be to... I think if he can land that left uppercut and catch uh, Spence coming in, he could hurt him. Uh, without a doubt. Without a doubt in my mind, I know he can hurt Spence. Just like I know Spence can hurt Crawford. I know for sure Crawford can hurt Spence. And uh, and one thing, th this is what makes the fight so dangerous. Uh, I say Crawford got a puncher's chance, but it's one of the best puncher's chances I've ever seen. Because for one, he's so precise. He don't miss a lot of punches. And when Crawford gets you hurt, it's over. He don't let uh, his opponent survive. I think Tank's a great finisher too. Uh, they both have those similarities that if you get hurt, I think Crawford's by far a better finisher. Because Crawford, when he gets you hurt, it, he don't let you off the hook. And he, he's so precise. And that's why I would like to see Spence just buy. I would like to see Spence fight Crawford like he fought Mikey. And I know it's crazy. And I know y'all think he should get on the inside and work the body. Yeah, you can work the body. But I I would I would suggest uh, Spence stay on the outside. And I think he has more of a reach. And he's slightly taller. He's Yeah, he's slightly taller than uh, Crawford. And he got, he got the uh, second best, well, the third best jab in the game behind Jamal and Devin. Yeah, I got him with the third best jab. Uh, I think he needs to box Crawford. That's would be my that would be keep him at the end of that jab. Um, yeah, keep him at the end of that jab. Uh, straight lefts to the body. Yeah, shit like that. Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jabs to the body. Yeah, I think the jab can really, really offset Crawford. I'm gonna be honest because Crawford had a hard time with Kell Brooks' jab. So that's why I would I would like to see Spence. Uh, yeah, box him like he fought Mikey, and I think uh Spence will win by a split decision. Uh, but if I think if Spence try to get on the inside, I think Crawford gonna catch him and stop him. Spence, Spence my favorite fighter, but if he gets on the inside, and I know y'all don't agree, but if he get on the inside side with Crawford, he's gonna make himself more vulnerable. If he press Crawford, he's gonna be more vulnerable. And Crawford is a A one counter puncher. He's a, he's a sharpshooter, bro. That's why I want to see Spence just outbox him. Yeah, and I don't give a fuck if they say it's boring. Yeah, fight a boring fight and just outbox Crawford because Crawford can't hurt him. And that's very dangerous to get on the inside because he can run into something. So, that's the same thing I'm saying with Devin. I think Devin needs to fight uh, uh, just box, kind of like he fought Cambosis. Uh, because if he, if he tries that inside, try to stay on the inside too long, Tank will catch him. Uh, Tank is a sharpshooter. Tank has the best uppercut in the game by far. Uh, second, I got Jamal uh, with the second best uppercut. But uh, yeah, man, um, Tank Tank is very dangerous, but he has a lot of shortcomings. Uh, he has a lot of uh, he gonna have a lot of obstacles against him. Uh, he he, he and, and I know a lot of y'all think he does so well with tall fighters. No, he don't. No, he don't. No, he don't. He don't do well with tall fighters. He don't do well with longer fighters, and I'm telling you that, especially ones that can box. He has a very, that's, that, I think that's his kryptonite, and I'm going to be honest with you, I think Devin can easily beat him if he just box. Easy. 9-3-10-2. Yeah, and I know a lot of you motherfuckers don't agree with it, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, I think, I think he won't get past the jab, and I think, and I'm gonna tell you another thing you motherfuckers don't realize, I think when, uh, Tank comes in and gets hit with one of those, yeah, one of those right hooks, or one of those, yeah, one of them shots, or one of them overhand right, I think, I think he's gonna step back, and he's gonna re reevaluate the whole situation, and I think he's gonna be a little more careful, because I think people, uh, don't realize that those punches do hurt that Devin throws. Yeah, they hurt just because you don't fall, just because you don't stumble, don't mean that shit don't hurt. And I think he got his respectable power. And not only that, I think the greatest advantage with Devin Haney is he's only getting stronger. 
uh, he hasn't grown into his full potential. Uh, Tank is at his full potential. Tank is 27, going on 28. Uh, we, we, we. The only thing I can say about Tank, uh, I, I believe great competition will bring out the best in him. But he, he's done growing. He's done growing. He's, uh, yeah, he's matured. Devin Haney is still maturing, and he's gonna get fast. He's gonna get faster. He's gonna get bigger, and he's gonna get stronger. He's gonna get a lot stronger. And I'm gonna tell you another thing that a lot of you motherfuckers don't see. I wouldn't be surprised if 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 Devin really really kind of pushes his wheel against uh Tank and bags him up. Yeah, bags him up, uses the jab to bag him up and on the inside uh uh cuz uh, Devin has a very good clinch game. I see him kind of uh, you know, yeah, throwing Tank kind of around the ring. I think he's going to be the stronger fighter. Yeah. And so um yeah, I think it's a 60-40 fight, but don't get me wrong. And another thing, I think Tank is going to land some vicious shots on Devin. But I'm going to tell y'all something. Um, I've seen Tank land vicious shots on a lot of fighters, and they don't fall right now. Uh, Tank is one of them fighters. If if he, uh, Yeah, certain shots he can knock you out with one punch, but most of the time, it's a it's kind of an accumulation of hard shots. He, it don't be the first hard shot he land that all his opponents fall. No, they kind of keep getting hit flush with the same shot, and it breaks them down. So I don't see Devin getting hit with the same shots over and over, and it's going to be hard for Tank to land because he has to make himself vulnerable and get on the inside, which uh, the jab is going to sting him uh, very often. Uh, so, yeah, I got it a 60-40 fight. Uh, the 50-50 fight to me would be Devin Haney versus Shakur. Uh, reason being, I think Shakur is um, I think they just as skilled as each other. A lot of people think Shakur more skilled. No, nope. I think they just as skilled. I think that's that's Pinnell Whitaker versus Floyd. Yeah, it, it's a it's a very 50-50 fight. But I I got Devin. I got Devin. I got him with the reach. I think that'll be the biggest. I think that'll be the one because Shakur, I don't think he got, no, he don't have reach over Devin. That would be the major deciding factor is that Shakur would have to find a way to kind of get in. And Devin does have a better jab than Shakur. I got to be honest. Shakur has a great jab, but it's not better than Dev's. Uh, that's a true 50-50 fight. It could go either way. I think that's a closer fight than Devin versus Tank. I think Tank can outbox uh I mean, I think Devin can outbox Tank, bro. And I know a lot of y'all don't think that. A lot of y'all don't think he can stay disciplined. I think he outboxes Tank, bro, and makes him very frustrated. Makes him very frustrated. Uh, but, yeah, Shakur would be the fight that that uh, it's a 50-50 fight. But I got Devin slightly winning, maybe a 7-5 decision. Um I think uh, Devin Haney, he will, he will – uh, his toughest competition uh, – will be when he get the wealth away. I think he gonna meet up with uh Gary Antoine. I think they gonna meet up at wealth away. I don't think they gonna meet at one forty. I think I think when Devin get to one forty, Gary gonna already be at be at uh wealth away. And he's gonna take over that division. I think the I think I'm a, I'm gonna tell you something. I got Devin beating Tank. I got him beating Shakur. I got him beating uh <sighs> I'm not even finna mention no Ryan or Tia Fimo. Them dudes not serious. Uh, but I think his toughest fight would be against Gary Antoine. And that'll be at welterweight. And that's a true 50-50 fight. Uh, yeah, that's a 50-50 fight. Uh, so, yeah, I think I think that's the only person. Gary Antoine Russell, bro. At 147, that, that'll be his toughest. That'll be the fight where... Cause I like both of these dudes, man. Like I like all these. I like Tank. I like Shakur. I just think Devin better, bro. I think Devin better. I think Devin better than Shakur and Tank. I think he better, bro. I think he better slightly, slightly. With Shakur, it's so neck and neck. Some days I may say Shakur. Don't don't get me wrong. Some days I may say Shakur better. Some days I may say Devin better. But I definitely think Devin better than uh, Tank. I think Devin and Shakur are better than Tank slightly, not by a, a large margin. I think it's still close. But uh, yeah, yeah, man, it's it's it's, it's, it's it, this shit exciting, man. It's exciting either way it go. Uh, it's gonna be a very uh, Devin is gonna have to be very careful. He's going to have to be very careful because I, I don't want y'all to get it misunderstood. I think Tank is a very smart fighter. I think he's great. I think he's a for sure Hall of Famer. I think he's going to do some great things, man. He's a major problem. But Devin's better, bro. 
I just think Devin better, bro. That that that's just my take on it. And yeah, but it's all love. I wish all these fighters the best. Uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel, man. And when you subscribe, hit the bell icon. It will notify you when I drop more content, man. Cause we dropping it real fast, man. So yeah, this is nine oh three boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. And with that, I'm out.